Hello everybody! And thank you so much for stopping by on this channel. If you're new to this channel, then welcome! My name is The Fluffy Mane and I like to upload some different kind of Pokemon videos on this channel. If you do like a little Fireti, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and also leave the notification bell on to know when I will post some new videos. So thank you all so much! So in today's video we are going to open up something from the Pokemon TCG. If I show the beautiful playmat right now and you can already maybe tell from the accessories that I'm wearing and I'm wearing a bulbous Bulbasaur sweater too is a Christmas sweater though. I wanted to wear my Bulbasaur accessories because in today's video I want to open up something from the beautiful Pokemon Bulbasaur but to be more precise it's about the beautiful evolution of Bulbasaur which is this beautiful Venusaur VMAX Battle box and it's such a beautiful box. They have this beautiful sleeves and from the starter Pokemon Bulbasaur is my favorite. So I know that most people do like Charizard because it has the most cards and most sets but this one is my favorite. So when they released this box I was pretty happy because they have the beautiful Venusaur Femax promo. So I'm very happy to see this and it's a part of Battle Styles as well. Let's see what this beautiful box of Venusaur VMAX contains. Also just because of the sleeves because I think they look so pretty and it's not really common that they place sleeves inside as well. Then we have one pro foil promo card featuring Venusaur VMAX, then the one oversized card of the Venusaur VMAX, 65 sleeve cards and then four Pokemon booster packs and then a code card for the online TCG. So let's open up this beautiful box and then check out what we can find in this beautiful box. That was easy. And then we have all the plastics again. With this one they didn't really do a pattern, with Shining Face they did. There, let us start by giving you all the code card first for the Venusaur VMAX battle box. There y'all go! And then let's start off with this beautiful Venusaur VMAX. Look at that! It looks so pretty! Yeah, this is really such a beautiful card. The flower on Venusaur's head is now really popped out in his VMAX form. And what I really do like from the Gen 1 Pokemon is they really still look a lot like where they're coming from. So you can still see, if you see Bulbasaur here, you can still see Bulbasaur in Venusaur, which I think is awesome. And it's with Squirtle as well, with the Blastoise. Only Charmander did change into Charizard, so which was very different. But you could still recognize the cute Charmander in Charizard. So it's really great to see how Pokemon did really change with a lot of starters that I couldn't really recognize anymore where they're from. But I really do like that they did this with Gen 1. So wanna see this beautiful sleeves. It does look pretty. So let's open up one sleeve to, um, to protect the beautiful Venusaur card. Look at that. And what I did notice though, because of I already opened up the Blastoise one. So with this one from the inside, normally this is like transparent, but it's matte from the inside. So it's like the same as the one of the Ailey Trainer box of Shining Fate with the Eevee sleeves. They were like a little bit matte as well, but still the quality does feel nice. So if they do protect the cards, then I think that that's very important. There we go. Still looks good. You still do see a little shine, but it's not really as glowy as it should be. If you compare it to the bigger size, then you can really see the glowing part there. And also the glaring with the light. <laughs> you can see here that it's like a little bit subtle. This is awesome. I really like this jumbo card a lot. And then we have our four booster packs. We do have basic sun and moon. Darkness Ablaze and then two battle styles. So I think I want to do battle styles last because it's the new set. So let's do that one last. I think I want to end up with Empoleon and then start with Sun and Moon and then Darkness Ablaze and then see from there. And then let's open up the packs and then see what is inside. Instead of using evolutions a lot in packs, you see Sun and Moon coming back very frequently. Which I don't mind because they still have EV cards in them. 
let's see what we can find in these packs. Start off with Crushing Hammer, Her Dear, Lily, Dratini, Spiro, Psyduck. Look how cute this Psyduck looks so cute. Eevee! Picky Pack, Reverse Common Rowlet, and just a regular two cannon with Hello Fairy Energy. Don't see fairy energy common as well anymore, which is unfortunate. I did like fairy energy. We have code card Sun and Moon. There you go. And then let's check on Darkness Ablaze with Senti Scorch. I still do need some a lot of cards from Darkness Ablaze. So let's see what Darkness Ablaze can give us. And then we start first with a Ursa Ring, Heat Energy, Simi Seer. Skitty, Pansage, a lot of monkeys, Colette, Vanillite, Trapinch, Crochet, Ah, that's so cute, why the Crochet looks so pretty. We got a Reverse, Q-Font, hey doesn't this look like the Q-Font from Shining Fates? It does look a little bit the same. Oh my, we have a Scissor Fee, Full Art. I don't have this card as well, I think so. With a Leaf Energy. I cannot believe this pool. Look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty Scissor. Gen 2. Darkness Ablaze. Wow. That's a great pool. Starting off, code card for Darkness Ablaze. There you all go. And then, because we have a full art scissor V. Give code card Hidden Fates. There you go. I cannot believe we already have a full art card and we still have two packs to go from Battle Styles. So let's see if Battle Styles can still give us something for the set. So let's see what it can grant us. Start off with Single Strike Scroll of Scorn. Bisharp, Single Strike Energy, Galarian Slowpoke, Fomantis, Remorate, Cubone, Honeyard, Reverse, Common Shinx, and oh, Bolt on Rare. Who had a Lightning Energy? Look at that! I like this Bolt on though. So happy and so jipper. I really do like dog like Pokemon. That's amazing. Start off with code card for battle styles. There you go. And then because we have the matching energy card with a rare card, I have hidden fates. There you go. And then with the last battle styles, I am not really thinking we get anything. But still, let's see if we have last pack magic. So you never know. So let's go on with Swordward and Shieldbird, Fero, Carnivine, Electabuzz, Esper, Timber, Galarian Slowpoke, Corfish, Reverse, Common Galarian Slowpoke, and Eggy Slash Hollow. Well, that's at least something with a Leaf Energy. That's cool. We still end up with getting a Hollow Eggy Slash. So that's good. Leaving this beautiful card up. There we go. Giving a code card here for Sword and Shield Battle Styles. And because we have a Eggy Slash Hollow, I have here a code card for Hidden Fates. There you all go. And then let's check on the recap what this beautiful Venusaur Femax Battle Box gave to us. So we only had four booster packs in this box, so we do have Boltunt. Oh, and <laughs> Flying Away to Cannon. Then we have Hollow Eggy Slash, and last but not least, this beautiful Full Art Scissor V. So I think that this box was pretty good because it gave us 
a hollow and a full art so that is pretty so I'm very happy with the come out of this beautiful box if you do like this kind of videos then don't forget to subscribe leave a like and I also like to communicate with all of you if we do have a beautiful milestone getting ready then I want to open up something nice for this channel as well I really want to thank you all so much for watching and then I hope to see you all in my next video. Thank you all so much.